This Toolbox Talk video is all about asbestos. Content delivered in accordance with Regulation 10 of Control of Asbestos Regulations 2012. This Toolbox Talk covers where you might find asbestos, how it can affect you, and hazardous work. Up to 5,000 people a year from all industries die from asbestos-related diseases. Asbestos kills more people in the UK than road accidents. You need to be aware of asbestos. It could kill you. What you need to know. Asbestos is the single biggest occupational health hazard in the UK, with at least 3,500 people dying each year from asbestos-related diseases. Asbestos use became popular in the 20th century, with large amounts used as a building material. Bans on asbestos were introduced in the 1970s, with a final ban introduced in 1999. It's thought that the number of people being affected by asbestos will continue to increase. Asbestos is a naturally occurring fibrous material that has been used worldwide for over 150 years on a large industrial scale. It's adaptable, readily available, and it's also ideal as a fireproof insulation material. There are three types of asbestos commonly used within the UK. Chrysidolite, blue. Chrysotile, white. Amosite, brown. Where you could find asbestos. The asbestos removal industry estimates that over 3,000 products contain asbestos. It can be found in insulation and sprayed coatings used for boilers, plant and pipe work. Some are obvious but some are hidden in underfloor ducting, fire protection to steelwork, often hidden behind false ceilings, thermal and acoustic insulation of buildings. An insulation board used in fire protection to doors, protected exits and steelwork, claddings on walls and ceilings, internal walls, partitions and suspended ceiling tiles, fire blankets, in asbestos cement which is found as corrugated roofing and cladding sheets of buildings, flat sheets for partitions, cladding and other door facings, rainwater gutters and downpipes. In other products, some textured coatings and paints, friction materials, such as brake linings. How can asbestos affect you? Asbestos breaks into tiny, long, sharp fibres. They can get lodged and scar the lungs, causing asbestosis, fibrosis, or a form of lung cancer. It can also cause mesothelioma, a cancer of the inner lining of the chest wall that is incurable. Smoking also increases the risk of asbestos-related diseases. Let's think about hazardous work. Anyone working on building repair and refurbishment is considered most at risk. Anyone who may encounter asbestos as part of their daily work operations should have asbestos awareness training. This includes most people within the construction and maintenance sector. It's currently estimated that 20 people from the construction sector die each week as a result of past asbestos exposure. Buildings constructed before 2000 may have forms of asbestos containing materials in them. If you think you've come across asbestos, Stop work and tell your supervisor. The removal of any asbestos, including low-risk materials such as roofing felts, old floor tiles, textured paints and plasters containing asbestos, can be hazardous. Be aware of asbestos-containing materials that have been painted using lead-based paint. This could be a double hazard. Here are some basic emergency procedures. In case of potential contamination or release of fibres, stop the work immediately and move away from the source but don't spread the contamination. Warn other workers in the same vicinity and raise the alarm. Wear the appropriate respiratory protective equipment, RPE, and shower within a decontamination unit. You should ask yourself and others. Where will you find insulation, sprayed coatings, insulating boards, or asbestos cement? In what ways can asbestos fibres affect you? What are some of the hazardous work areas? What should you do if you think that you've discovered asbestos materials in your work area? What diseases can exposure to asbestos cause?
for a toolbox talk to be as effective as possible. It's important that we all discuss this topic in a little more detail to see how we can improve. It's a good idea to record who's taken part in this toolbox talk. The good news is we have a link below so you can download a free attendance register to fill in. If you'd like regular toolbox talk emails, you can sign up to our free newsletter. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for more free safety stuff. Be accredited and Ramzap.